Hello friends, this is Manak from Civil Center and today we are going to discuss about difference between STAT Pro and Tecla Structural Designer. So we are going to take some live examples and then compare between the two design softwares. So let's get started. So for starting, we'll discuss about the modeling between the two software. As you can see in the left, this is a model created in Tecla Structural Designer or TSD and in the right this is a model which has been created in STAT. Creation of grid lines. So for creating grid lines in STAT, we need to enter the coordinates from our beam column plan. As you can see here, these coordinates need to be inserted in the STAT while viewing your beam column plan's centerline diagram. Creation of grid lines in Tecla Structural Designer. In Tecla Structural Designer, we can import grid lines directly from your CAT. And in addition, we can also import the beam column plan as a shadow so as you can see this is the grid lines and the next step will be importing the beam column plan as a shadow which you will see so this is the beam column plan which has been inserted as a shadow the next is adding members in stat so for adding members in stat we need to open or see the beam column plan again and again so that we can place our structural members correctly Applying members in TSD is comparatively easier as we already have the beam column plan as a shadow. We don't have to open the beam column plan again and again. We can directly put all the structural members in our model. As you can see here, we are inserting the columns. And after the insertion of columns is complete, then we insert the beams. So the process is simpler in comparison to STAT. Model look in STAT. So the model look in STAD is a 2D wireframe look which represents the center line of all the beams. As you can see in this, this is our 2D model. Model look in TSD is a 3D model which represents the actual sizes of all the members. Applying loads in STAD. So in STAD, applying loads is easy and we also have to apply the self weight on the member and apply the live loads, dead loads, seismic and wind loads. Applying loads in TSD. So in TSD, in dead load, the self weight of the member is taken automatically. So we don't have to apply that and it saves time. And the interface is relatively user friendly, making the process fast. And also the process of application of seismic and wind load is also fast and easy. Slab and footing design in Tecla Structural Designer. We can't design footing in STAT and for that we need a separate software. In Tecla Structural Designer we can design footing and also we can design slab. As in STAT Pro, the slab is designed as per European code but in Tecla Structural Designer we can design slab and as per Indian codes as well. As you can see here, we can do the slab designs as well as the footing design. These are the isolated footings. Design report. In Tecla Structural Designer, an added bonus is that in the design report, we can have the detailed design report quantities of concrete as well as steel with 10% allowance. So we can get the estimate idea of a total project in Tecla Structural Designer. Structural drawing. In Tecla Structural Designer, an added feature is that it can generate structural drawing of any particular members or a floor plan. As you can see here, you can generate structural drawings using this software. So friends, these are the differences and advantages and disadvantages of Tecla Structural Designer and Stat Pro. For watching more such videos, stay connected to our channel and also do subscribe and share with your friends. Bye-bye.